Hi, this is Dimitri from Sigma One, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add any type of div you want inside a repeater element or the easy posts. So I've already set up a repeater of blog posts. I already have the repeater set up, of course it doesn't work all that great. And I've set up this, it's just a standard div with a heading text and a form for signing up for a newsletter. We're going to take this and we're going to move it inside any one of these. First we'll get the ID, so div 253-1605. And we're going to get the repeater. We'll open it. And the first one, the first div below the repeater, we'll add a class posts container. We'll add a code block. This is the div that I showed you for right here. And we created a new class for all these elements. Go we'll ahead, save. And you see? pops up right into one of the spots and of course it doesn't look that great but you can style it however you want. If we want to move it to the second spot we'll change the nth child to 2 and now it's here and it fits seamlessly anytime you add a new post or anything it'll just wrap around that. Now let's do the same thing for easy posts. So I've already set up the easy posts. CSS grid masonry. I've already created the same thing, just a newsletter sign up. So let's get this ID div block 7 1610. And before we start, let's look at the front end. see that all of the easy posts have the same class, oxypost. So it's the same one that we did for the last on repeater, but instead of post container, oxygen has already added oxypost. So we'll copy that. We'll add a code block. set up this right there you put right here insert before oxy post if you remember it's right here and we want it we'll do the second so we're inserting it insert before the second job and you see it fits in perfect we could do it for the fifth. And 
and of course it's up to you to style it however you want but you can see immediately how easy it is to put any element you want inside of an easy post or repeater element.